Sarah Wilson, and I'm a survivor of the Robin Abuse Scandal of 1400. If we wasn't to go and meet these abusers, it's either my house got petrol bombed, my mum or sister was getting threatened to be raped. Extreme stuff would have happened if I didn't go out of that house. These abusers would circle around the children's home and wait for me to leave it to pick me up. If I went to a different city and I was on my own, I'd probably have to sit with 20 men in one night. And that wouldn't be together. That would be one after one. And if I didn't obey their rules, and then there's going to be painful consequences to pay. I don't blame the whole of Pakistani community for the simple fact I had a guardian angel, Hamid. He was my best friend, he was the father I never had, and he was British Pakistani. And he helped me get away from the abuse. I personally think he scared part of my abusers off, because if we park up in a garage, they, they wouldn't even dare look at me. I still live in Rotherham. Why should I move out of my own town that I grew up in, that I was born in, because of these abusers? Shouldn't, be, shouldn't that be the abusers moving out of Rotherham? If it was up to me, I'd live next door to them and intimidate them every single day. She's saying, nah, I'm not a child, I'm a woman, and I have a voice of my own. I'm a survivor, and they cannot hurt me in any way, shape, or form, and I never will ever again.